Well, I've waited a really long time for the winds to be just right this year, and uh, yeah, they're out of the due west and out that way in the middle of Lake Michigan, the waves are about seven to 10 feet, but it's beautiful here on shore. And I just found something pretty crazy. <laughs> that is humongous and it's shaped like a heart. Awesome. Oh, totally made it worth it. And there's a lot of uh, mussel shells in this area. So I really got to use my eyes here. Oh, I see another. Oh, no. Fossil one. Anyway, that's awesome. I got another good one here. I missed it because the angle of the sun right now is difficult to see glass. Piece. And I just saw another oh, right here. There we go. So heading back now. This should be fun. Because this is a lot better with the sun behind my back. Alrighty. This is a fresh landslide I just discovered. Um yeah. These trees right here came down into the lake off that cliff. Probably within the past few days. That's pretty wild. It's erosion at work, so. All right, all right. Here's another lucky find I just got right there. Church. So, yeah, heading back here. Oh, <laughs> sometimes, uh, yeah, I found glass buried like that before, but obviously, it was not a piece. So, alrighty, grab my iron stake, whatever the heck. Another big one that uh, I don't know how on earth I missed the first time, but I did. <laughs> right there. Nice. Yeah. Up here. Bigger stuff seems to be in this area. Just away from the water. So. Guess this is where I'm going to concentrate. Well, as far as the recap goes tonight, everybody, I guess I'm going to start with my rocks, which... Um, yeah, I picked out a lot of what I thought could possibly be uprolites, and I'm not kidding. None of them are. It drives me crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I was getting pretty good at this deal, and, uh, no. And this one, actually, I knew it wouldn't be. I just, the shape of it outside and the natural light, um... It resembled a heart. For some reason, I'm picking up stuff that's shaped like that lately. So, anyway. Um, hmm. Number of pieces of quartz. As you can see. That's pretty cool. Fossilized. Uh, there is a couple pieces of quartzite in here. Mixed in with the sand. Uh, and... A hagstone. I haven't found one of these in a long time. Technically a geode. I know the Vikings had a thing about these. The hagstones. A lot of people, this is what they go out after when they're rock hunting too, I do know. So that was a pretty cool find. Um, oh, here. Piece of carnelian. I thought it was an agate at first. I held it up in the sunlight for, you know, what I could see. Uh, there's a little bit of banding in it, but nothing crazy. And then this one, but I will show this under magnification here in a moment. And before I do that, I should just pull it out, the big daddy. 
that's a nice garden rack I found. And I've had my eye on this for, oh, about a month. It's been, it was kind of embedded in the sand up on the beach and I passed it a few times and I was meant to pick it up on my way back and I didn't, but finally I remembered. It's, you know, I can't tell you what it is because I don't know. I just like it. Very cool rack. So that is going outside. So, okay, I'll show you the carnelian here. All right, real quick here is the uh, the waxy carnelian under magnification. Yeah, there's not really true lip banding in this, so I would not call this an agate, but it is very close. Fun find, nevertheless. And then this one, which is super awesome. There's a band of jasper in there, some quartz. And this would be a phenomenally beautiful rock if I should decide to throw it in a tumbler, which I think it will. Oh, there's a little limonite in there too. So, okay. Last up is the beach glass, and I found a lot. The manganese, pinkish purple colors, the ambers, quite a few clears, including that awesome heart-shaped uh, piece right there. Not too many aquas, decent amount of green, some old pottery, porcelain, milk glass, and some pitiful cobalts. <laughs> They're never pitiful. I'm just kidding. Just not very many of them is what I'm trying to say here. Um, that is uranium glass, and I don't know. Oh, here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, check it out. Nice one. That surprised me, actually. thought it was uh, jadeite, to be honest. A little piece of jadeite. And those, like I said before, I always take these because they don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> I have a ton. So, okay, last thing, you know, as far as the amount of beach glass that I've collected, which is going on four years now, um... This is only a small portion of what I have. By the way, this is a reproduction uh, ball mason. I got it for like a quarter at a Goodwill up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, yeah, nice pieces. All of these were found on Lake Michigan, either on my side in Wisconsin or the Michigan side. Everything I have in jars. I have buckets full of stuff. As well, aside from this, because I don't have enough mason jars to fill, necessarily. And sometimes I put these on the shelves, displays that I have, and I forget that I have them there, and I start filling bags and buckets, and it's insane. But, uh, yeah, this is the manganese collection I have from the beaches, and that's, you can see, not a whole lot in a quart milk uh, bottle there. So, that's the uranium glass. And, uh, yeah, I have the lights on right now. There's my beach marble that she glows nicely. So, yeah, uranium glass, not easy to find. Um, some of this will glow under different wavelengths of the UV light. And then, lastly, the cobalts. That's from a Big Daddy Bromo. Oh, that would have been nice. Yeah, cobalt beach glass. Kind of hard to come by, so, you know, let's just add that in there. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. The gills of November have arrived, officially, so we'll see. I'm, I'll be going out there as often as I can. It looks like it's probably going to mostly be on the weekends from now on, so um, if ever I come upon something awesome... I will try and make a video of it and entertain you all because <laughs> this is my life and, uh, you know, I try and make cool things out of what I find out there and I don't know. All this stuff keeps me happy. Bottle digging too. Don't forget about that. All right. Good night.